Today, I'm going to show you how to buy your own domain and set up web hosting with Hostinger. Now, there's a free way to do it that I sometimes do, like with my own portfolio website and with some clients, if they're going to have kind of low traffic. Uh, if they're expecting a lot of traffic or you just want to do it in the most secure and uh, professional way possible, then I would recommend paying for web hosting. So that's what we're going to do today. If you want to see the free way that I do it, I'm going to make another video for that soon. If you check the comments of this video, there will be a link to get at least 20% off your hosting, if not more. Let's get into it. Let's set up our website. You're going to need two accounts. You're going to need an account on Hostinger and also on GitHub because we're going to store our website files on GitHub and then we're going to do the hosting and the domain name with Hostinger. It took me about two seconds to make this little website here. This is just in my local environment so you can see up here it's not a live website only I can see it here. So let's take the first step. You have this code and you've already you've done the source control here in VS Code and you've put it into a GitHub repository. So now we're going to go to Hostinger. So I'm going to log in and it's going to take me to the login page. Choose that one. If you already bought your domain, you'll see it. You'll see a list of the domains that you own here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the process of buying a domain. If you already have your domain, then you can skip ahead to a point in the video that I'll put up on the screen right now. Uh, get a new domain. And we want osakadev.com. It's probably taken already. osakadev.net. You don't want that. .io is what all the cool kids are using nowadays. So .org, maybe Osaka dash dev.com how about that okay it's actually available so amazing because there's this website if you've watched my stuff you probably already know it japan dev for finding software developer jobs anywhere in japan and there's also one called tokyo dev today we're gonna make osaka dev so buy now choose billing period I'm just going to get the one year. They already have my credit card on file because I've bought domains before. If this is your first time buying a domain, you'll have to obviously put all that in. Okay, complete payment. We're buying it. We're buying Osaka Dev. That's pretty crazy. It's, it's cool. Buying domains is cool. Okay. I don't have any money on that card. PayPal, let's use that PayPal money. PayPal, let's go. Let's go. There we go. They're going to want your contact. This has your address, phone number, email, first and last name. All of that stuff is correct for me right now. We're just going to click finish registration down at the bottom. Great news, your domain is being secured. Get ready to go online. That is great news. I'm ready to go online. So now that we have the domain name, if you haven't already, you're going to have to verify your email address. Let me just verify it real quick. That's the email verification. Let's refresh. You've got your checklist. We've registered. And we have some choices. I have business web hosting already. If you look at the hosting plans, uh, this is the one I already have and I can have 100 websites. So actually that is amazing news for me. I don't have to pay, for, but if you don't have this, then you should get it. So you would just select here, choose if you have $200 to do 48 months in advance, go ahead and do it. And and save your 71% compared to monthly. Once you have your hosting paid for and you've got your domains, you can go down here. We're going to go to manage. Here we go. Advanced. Git. I think we want to go to Git. Ah, uh, here we go. That's what we want to do. Private Git repository. So you're going to generate this SSH key. 
click on copy and then we're going to go into it's here Osaka dev and it's private and let's see we're going to go into settings and you want to go to deploy keys add a deploy key title let's, let's just call it hostinger uh, paste that key in here yes just we'll do that yes and then add a key put in your password now we've got something done so now let's go back to hosting here and we want to do this uh, i know we're using a private repository just because we want to keep our information confidential um it's called main repository Go into your settings. Uh, no, not settings. Sorry, code. Go to the code. SSH. Copy this. Paste it there. Oh, but first, before we do that, we want to go to the file manager and delete everything. Let's take this and delete it. Yes. All right. Oh, no, we don't want to access the files. Okay, let's go back down here to advanced and git. Main, got in, who's left the page. Copy, paste, let's create. <coughs> I want to do auto deployment. So if we make any changes, in the GitHub repository, it'll automatically be pushed. So, we do that. Webhook, let me just copy this. So, set up the webhook on GitHub. I believe that's going to be it. Active, let's add the webhook. So, that should be working now. And, okay. Let's deploy. Let's refresh. Do a build output. Well, first off, let's just check if it's working. We're live. There we go. So that's all it took. Buy your domain and your hosting from the same place, and it's going to be super simple. That was way easier than when I bought my domain on GoDaddy and and hosted it with Netlify. Wow, that was easy. So we are live. We have Osaka Dev. <laughs> and if you click on it, it should go to my YouTube channel. There it is. If you're having some kind of problems, just uh, let me know in the comments. Or if you're already in my Discord or connected with me in some other way, just uh, let's get together and uh, I'll help walk you through it. Alright, see you later.